The abduction was one of the most striking images from the day the war broke out. Shiri Bibas and her two boys, Kfir and Ariel, were dragged out of their kibbutz near Oz and taken to Gaza. At nine months, Kfir was the youngest of Hamas hostages. He and his four-year-old brother Ariel became symbols of the hostages held by Hamas. We didn't want him to become a symbol. We didn't want him that Hamas will use that. That because they are a symbol, they will they will use that to to, to be to do a, a harder negotiation. The kids, you don't need to negotiate negotiate about it. When Israel and Hamas reached a deal exchanging Israeli hostages for Palestinian prisoners and a truce, the Bibas brothers were expected to be among the first released. But after all the young children were let go, they were still missing. On Wednesday, the group said the boys and their mother were killed, adding that the cause of death was an Israeli bombing. Benny Gantz was with the family as the statement came in. It was a painful meeting already, and it became even more painful with the latest developments. As we sat down together, media reports arrived, and although they are not confirmed, they are painful. I don't know if it's true or not true, if it's part of a brutal psychological warfare led by our cruel enemies. The Bibas family, too, said this may be part of a psychological warfare and is waiting to get an official assessment from the army.